Hello and welcome to all our viewers to our favorite cricket news bulletin 7 at 7 only at Stumps and Wheels and this is your host Anjali. Today we will be looking at top 7 news headlines that are making some buzz in the world of cricket. In the show we will be looking at legendary off spinner missing England flight after being tested positive for Covid, KL Rahul's groin injury updates and much more. So without any further ado let's get into more details and see what's happening in the world of cricket. At first we have R Ashwin who tested positive for Covid and missed his flight to England. After testing positive for COVID-19, senior off-spinner Ravi Chandran will not travel to United Kingdom with his teammates for the one-off fifth test. Ashwin is now quarantined and will only be allowed to rejoin the squad if all protocol requirements have been met. On June 16th, the Indian squad flew to the United Kingdom. The team had travelled in two shifts, where earlier Virat Kohli, Cheteshwar Pujara, Bumrah and the likes have reached England. Rohit Sharma, Shrez Iyer, Shubham Gill along with Rahul Dravid and Co have joined later. Ashwin seems to have missed the trip on both occasions. Next up, we have KL Rahul who is about to undergo treatment in Germany for a persistent groin injury. There is finally some clarification on the status of KL Rahul joining the team for England tour. Team India's vice captain has arrived in Germany to receive thorough treatment for his groin injury. It is confirmed that he will miss the England tour and will only be available in the next month of July. With the prolonged groin injury, Rahul was ruled out of South Africa series and England tour. With multiple injuries, the aim now shifts to a full recovery in time for the West Indies tour in July. Rahul is anticipated to stay in Germany for around a month for therapy before returning home. At third, we will talk about India playing four warm-up matches before meeting England for the fifth test. As India has reached England and has started their training, they have one opportunity to make themselves comfortable with the conditions in the country. India will be playing Leicestershire County Cricket Club in Leicester from June 24th before the loan test is to take place on July 1st. The game will be four days, a first-class match. It looks like a great opportunity for players to gear up for the test and not let the historic opportunity of winning this series in England. The game was postponed due to disruption created by Covid while India was touring England in September 2021. The tour was abandoned and the teams haven't gotten time to play it ever since. The arrangements are initiated in coordination by the head coach Rahul Dravid who is preparing the team for dual tours of Ireland and England in collaboration with BCCI administration and selection committee. Now let's look at England women caller for the five untapped players for a one-off test against South Africa. England women have named a new look squad for the one-off test against South Africa to be played from June 27th. England called up five uncapped players into the squad that is Emma Lamb, Alice Davidson Richards, Lauren Bell, Emily Arlott and Freya Davies. Following the retirements of England, base veteran Catherine Brunt and Anya Shrapsol, the team is in the transition phase. Their star campaigner said goodbye to the international cricket while Brunt bid her farewell to test cricket earlier this month. On this new team, the head coach of England, Lisa Keatley, believed that the new players would inject energy and enthusiasm into the test squad. Next is Kane Williamson who is to miss the series against Ireland, Scotland and the Netherlands. Kane Williamson and many other veteran players were left out of New Zealand's team named on Tuesday for their upcoming series against Ireland, Scotland and the Netherlands. Mitchell Sandner, a spinner, will then lead the team for three T20 internationals against Ireland, three more against Scotland in Edinburgh and two against Netherlands in early August. First choice players Williamson, Devin Conway, Tim Southey and Trent Bolt were left out because of the commitment to player wellness according to the New Zealand cricket. From July 10 to 14, batsman Tom Latham will captain the Black Caps in three won the international against Ireland in Dublin. At number 6, Rahul Dravid warns Indian team ahead of big series against England. The Rohit Sharma led side is all set to face England in the one-off test against England starting July 1. But ahead of the big clash, the head coach of India issued a warning for the Indian side as he feels that the current England team is much stronger than before. Given the chances in the two lineups, the England's recent 2-0 series win against test champions New Zealand with one match left yet. Dravid said the dynamics of the series won't be the same. Team India was 2-1 ahead when the last game of the five-match test series at Old Trafford was cancelled due to an increase in the COVID-19 cases in the Indian camp. And Edge Baston will now host the game from July 1. Last but not the least, we have the India Women Tour of Sri Lanka, the host announcer squad on India's arrival. Women's cricket in India is going to enter a new era as we play Sri Lanka in the first series after Mithali Raj's retirement. The series includes three T20I matches and three ODI matches starting on 
June 23rd. The team will play their first match in the current ICC Women's Championship cycle in the ODI series. The Indian women's cricket team landed in Sri Lanka for six matches. Palakalia will be the starting point for a young Indian squad with Dambulla being the second venue. Harmanpreet Kaur is the team's captain and Smriti Mandana is her deputy. Sri Lanka cricket named a 19-member team on Monday captained by Chamari Athapatu for a three-match T20I and three-match ODI series against India. Both squads will be led by Athapatu who will be joined by the key players such as Hasini Pereira, Nilakshi De Silva, Ushadi Rana Singhe and Inoka Ranavira. So, what do you think about Arishwin? Do you expect him to be the part of England's tour or not? Let us know by commenting down below. And if you want to read more about these news, make sure to visit our website www.stumsandbales.com. And if you liked watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Stumps and Bales and follow all our social media platforms which would be linked in the description box down below. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye.